Hey friends, in this episode, I'm going to share with you how to sew a book pillow. So let's get started. The pillow has a pocket in the front to hold your book. It also has a handle so you can carry the pillow. The backside has an envelope opening, so it's easy to take the pillow form out if you need to wash the cover. All the supplies are listed in the description below this video. You'll need your fabric. I'm using three fabrics. I used my first fabric for the front and the back sides of the pillow. The second fabric I used is on the front of the pocket. And then I used a third fabric to line the pocket. And that also creates the banding at the top of the pocket. You'll need a pillow form thread to match your fabric, a tape measure, you'll need pins, something to measure your fabric with, either a yardstick or a quilting ruler, scissors, and some kind of fabric marker. The first step is to measure your pillow form, and you want to measure from seam to seam. You want to measure across and up and down. If you'd like to make your pillow larger than 16 by 16, I've included a chart for how to cut out the fabric for an 18 by 18 inch pillow form and a 20 by 20 inch pillow form. Cut one piece of fabric for the pillow front 17 inches by 17 inches. Cut one piece of fabric for your pocket. It will be 17 inches by 10 inches. Cut one piece of fabric for the pocket lining. You'll need to cut it at 17 inches by 10 and a half inches. Cut two pieces of fabric for the back of the pillow. Each piece will be cut 17 inches by 12 inches. I also marked with a pen the two edges that I'm going to hem. The last piece of fabric that you'll need to cut is for the handle. You'll cut one piece of fabric 10 inches by 4 inches. Lay the pocket lining fabric face up on your table and lay the pocket fabric face down on top of the lining fabric. We're going to lay the top piece even with the bottom pocket lining and we're going to pin across the top edge. Now that we've pinned our top edge, I'm going to take both pieces of fabric to the sewing machine and I'm going to sew the two pieces together using a quarter inch seam allowance. You can see I've sewn my fabrics together using the quarter inch seam allowance. Next, you'll want to flip your fabric open and you'll want to make sure that the seam allowance is ironed towards the lining of the fabric. So we're just going to iron this down flat. So you can see the seam is laying upwards towards the lining piece of fabric. Take your pocket piece so that the face of the pocket is up and the lining is on the table. And next you're going to iron the seam again. Forming the banding that goes across the pocket. When you cut out the pillow front, make sure to place a pin along the bottom edge of the fabric. This is especially important if you have a directional fabric. I'm going to take my pin out now. I'm going to lay my pocket down, matching up my corners along the bottom edge, and I'm going to pin this in place. Sew a long basting stitch just around these three edges of the pocket and that is just to hold the pieces together until we get the front and back connected. You can see where I've sewn around the pocket edges using a long basting stitch and a quarter inch seam allowance. For your handle, place your fabric face side down, fold up so that you're folding your fabric in half and iron. Place the top piece so that the edge goes into your ironed crease. And then iron that fold. And do the same on the other side, folding the fabric in towards your middle crease. And iron. Take the handle fabric to the sewing machine. Top stitch along the long edge on both sides. Once you've top stitched on both long edges, this is what your handle should look like. 
Next, pin your handle to the top edge of the pillow cover. You're going to want this outside edge to be about five inches from the edge of the fabric and you're going to pin it in place. Next, you're going to take the other edge, bring it around so that you can pin this end to the pillow cover. You want to make sure that you don't twist your handle. This outer edge of the handle gets pinned at five inches also. Sew both ends of the handle to the pillow cover front using a quarter inch seam allowance to hold the handle in place. Here's the handle sewn in place. Take one of your two back pieces and lay it face side down on your table. The edge that you pinned, we're going to fold up one inch, iron it, and then we're going to fold in so that this edge of fabric is in our crease. And this creates a double quarter inch hem for us. And we're going to iron that. You're going to do the exact same thing on your second piece of fabric. So close to the edge of the hem on both pieces of the back fabric. You can see here where I've sewn the hem down on both of the back pieces of fabric. Place your pillow front right side up on your table, making sure that your handle is laying flat onto the fabric. You're going to take your two back pieces, you're going to lay them right side down, matching up the bottom edges of the pillow first, and then place the other back piece on top along the top edges of the pillow. Next, we're going to pin this in place. Once all your pieces are pinned together, you're going to sew all the way around all four sides of your pillow using a half inch seam allowance. Once I started sewing around the pillow, I realized I had placed the two back fabrics opposite from the way I wanted them placed. I had it pinned like this so that the top piece is on top of the other back piece. But the way you want to lay it out is you want to have the top piece laying directly on the pocket in the front of the pillow first and then lay the bottom back on top of that. So I'm going to finish pinning this again and then I'll continue sewing around all four sides of the pillow using my half inch seam allowance. You may want to sew the handles back and forth a few stitches to make sure they're really secure. Your pillow cover is sewn together on all four sides using a half inch seam allowance. Before we turn the pillow cover right side out, it's a good idea to clip the corners of your pillow cover so that when you turn it right side out, the corners will pop out nicely. After you've clipped your corners, turn your pillow cover right side out by opening the envelope flap, putting your fingers in the corners and poking them out and doing this on all four corners. Turning the pillow cover completely right side out. You may need to use something like a chopstick or I've got that purple thing to poke the corners out. Insert your pillow form into the opening of the back of the pillow cover. I like to chop my pillow in half and hold it in half. Place one end in, making sure to get the pillow form corners into the pillow cover corners. And then next, I grab the opening of the flap and place the other end of the pillow form in the pillow cover. Again, making sure the corners are going into the corners of the pillow cover. You can see that our two pieces of back fabric formed a nice envelope opening, which makes it easy to take the pillow form out if you need to wash the cover. I hope you've enjoyed this book pillow tutorial. Make sure to watch this video next. 
Happy sewing!